Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well as always. Welcome to this new video and this is a review of the Raptor Map 2. Now if you missed my review of the Raptor Mac 1, that was like a hands on throttle and stick, a whole task system. This is more like an, a built in sort of flight stick with throttle. So it is kind of like a smaller, more compact Holter system. It's got various different gadgets like electromagnetic sensor, as with the other one, 32 bits arm, which will be interesting, 29 button, 4 axis, and like I said, a built in throttle control on the stick itself. Now, I believe you can actually connect this to the Mac 1 throttle. But as you can see, I'm in a different room. I'm in the room where I have my gaming laptop on a small desk. And this might be a more applicable controller if you're short on space. So let's not dilly dally. Let's get into the video. Okay, you'll be glad to hear straight out of the box with this one. My first impressions, and these literally are my first impressions, looks like a traditional flight stick. Compact, more compact than the Mac one. So if you're planning on traveling and goodness knows what, or taking this with you, this could be ideal. It's got a safety trigger switch here, so if you lift that up, you can't press the trigger you need that down that's quite interesting lots of buttons before I go further with this further with this let me just give you the relevant information I'll link down in the description uh, the website for con contact simulations and then you can go and browse the different shops where it's on sale typically it's on sale for 99.99 so a hundred pound now like I said you can attach the Mac 1 throttle with this if you want to and the throttle systems themselves sell separately for about £50. So you're looking at around the same price for this, well about £150 wouldn't it, with this and the throttle system. But it does have, let me show you that straight away, let me just swap hands with my camera without turning the video off, it does have a nice range little throttle there, it's got a nice range to it. It's your typical throttle that you'll find on these types of flight sticks with integrated throttles. But it does have a nice range and very nice resistance. Again, it's not loose. It's just about the right resistance. That could be interesting to use. And buttons, buttons, blooming buttons everywhere. I mean, look, there's one here. There's one there. Actually, that's called star. That could be good for your menu button. And then look. Buttons everywhere. Nine buttons here. <laughs> Are you counting? There's an e a, a dedicated eject button there if you want it. So you're playing uh, combat simulators and DCS. Could be ideal for that. Button on top. Hat switch. I'm already looking at it thinking how would I trim with this, I'd have to work something out but I'll come back to that uh, once I'm in the sim and connect it to flight sim. Like I said if you lift that up, there's the fire button, so you can't really reach that if you have it the other way around so you need that sort of safety catch down to press the trigger button, I like that. There's another button somewhere here, ah there it is, at the front, there too, so you got buttons. <laughs> Literally as more buttons than I've seen on a controller of this size for sure. And it's nice to see nice sturdy construction. It feels a lot stronger and a lot more quality build than the Mac 1, I've got to say. This whole base, which again, you've got holes where you can clamp it down. It's all metal for the base. This is thick plastic. Seems like some kind of vent at the front there, which is interesting. It does have a 32-bit arm inside there. That'll be... Yeah, I'll have to see how that goes when I put it into the sim. It's got an SYS sort of plug or 
adapter here and one for pedals. Now I couldn't find any information on pedals available for this. I even read PC Pilot's review on this. It's a magazine, bi-monthly magazine, quite a popular one for PC piloting. And they said it's possibly pedals in development. Robert or anybody from Contact Simulations, if you're watching this, are there pedals in development for this? I did try. I've got my T-Flight Holtzass pedals down below. I did try that adapter in there. Didn't work, didn't fit. So I'm assuming there's pedals in production, which uh, is quite interesting. The SYS adopt uh, plug there, or adapter, you know, the hole for that. I'm not quite sure what that is. But it's interesting to see, I've got to say. Let's turn it back the other way. Just being careful, because that bottom part is metal. Not overly heavy, but that's a new laptop. <laughs> it's an expensive laptop, so I'm just being careful. Yeah, just lots of different options. Now, the cable length, I did measure this, because they typically get questions on that. Unfurled it, measured it, it's about two meters of cable length as well. So it's gonna be more than enough, especially if you sat at this distance and you're using this just as a one unit. Okay, listen, that's the overview of it. I'm quite impressed. I'm quite excited to attach this to my laptop in this case and rest this flight stick on my knee. And let's see what we find with Flight Simulator 2020 or Microsoft Flight Simulator. And okay, set up at runway 27, London City Airport, London Landmarks, UK Update, and London City Airport Pack by Orbix installed. Go and watch my review of this airport pack in the top right. Fantastic addition, and I believe it's still on sale right now. It may not be by the time you get to it, but we'll see. Let's just jump back in the cockpit. And I'll just show you something quickly in control options. So options, control options. Give it a moment to load. Now, when you plug this in, the default setup is this. <laughs> Question mark, doesn't know what it is. No settings. You have to set them up yourself. Be aware of that, like I did with the Mac 1. You have to set everything up yourself. For me, it's no bother. In fact, I enjoy doing that more. So I've just set up a few things. Flight controls, power management, brakes, camera, etc, etc. Let's just jump back into the aircraft. And I'm gonna just, just going to hit record on my camera. There we go. So it's sat on my knee. Now, the weight of this, I would say it's a pound or two in weight. Metal base solid plastic construction but quite lightweight lovely and compact on my knee as you can see the Holtas 1 Holtas 4 now this is just me when they're on my knee I get a dead leg my legs start hurting with these with this doesn't hardly weigh anything it doesn't you don't feel it so lovely in that aspect I've got some views set up like I mentioned quick views left right up over the nose down and cycle between my instruments. If you notice there, I'm moving my thumb to the left to move it to the right, the hat switch. And this is my misgiving slightly. There's a raised bit of the flight stick there. And you can't really, it's difficult to move it to the right. I mean, you can, but it's if you've got bigger thumbs than me, you may find that a bit clunky. But... You soon get used to it. You just soon get used to moving your thumb. Let's jump outside. Zoom around the aircraft. Yeah, I just get used to it. You just get very used to it. It's in a convenient position, the hat switch. And it's just that raised bit, which is a bit of a misgiving. Just something I'll mention, just in case you've got very large hands. Just move my view down. As you can see, you see, to me, it's second nature now. Gonna use this throttle system. I'm gonna talk more about this throttle later. I do like it. I'm just gonna throttle up to about I don't know, twelve hundred RPM just to get moving, just so I can show you the rudder in action. Uh that would do. Release the parking brake, just throttle back a little bit more there. As I don't want to be going too quickly. Gonna use the rudder. 
it's adaptive on this. Very adaptive. It feels very linear to use on this. Very different to other Holter systems, even the Mac one. Now, whether that's the ARM chip or the electromagnetic sensors, or hole sensors, or whatever in play there, there's nice resistance in that rudder. And if you just move it slightly or move it a little bit more, it just feels more adaptive on this twist action for whatever reason. So, uh, Rudder, very good. Let's throttle up all the way up. Lovely range with that throttle. I'm going to mention that more in a moment. Just keep myself slightly centered there. Just slight movements on the rudder. I need to put more sensitivity settings in that rudder system. It's not the... Uh, that's just me. Oh, let's just keep myself... Go pointing skywards. Gain some altitude because I'm going to take my hand off the stick and get to my trim controls, which I've got set up. Oh, just let's see if I can make it here. Yeah, I've got set up here. With apologies, it's difficult to keep my eyes on two different screens, my camera and my recording of flight sim. Trim button set up to these two. They work well. Remember, I've got my left hand typically here and my right hand on the stick just works beautifully these buttons as trim. Coincidentally, it's got flaps written on the side there. Let's just show you flaps. So they want you to use them as flaps or it's a suggestion, but you can use them as whatever you want, assign them to whatever you want. Bring that throttle back a little bit and grab my flight stick. I do have sensitivity set up. Not going to talk about them in this video. Going to, I've got a whole project in mind for setting up a complex halter system from scratch. So I'll leave it for that video. Got some sensitivity set up. I tell you what, feels fantastic. Honestly, I'm not a fan of halter systems generally. I got the halter one for the Xbox. I'm just trimming up there, trying to keep you in view of what I'm doing. Let's just leave it there. Typically not a fun. Hold task one because it was the only option aside from the controller when the Xbox version of Flight Simulator release. It's quite nice to use. I prefer the yoke systems. Having used this now, the feel of it in the hand and the compactness and the preciseness of it. I'm becoming more a fan or a bigger, uh, as big a fan, shall we say, of using... In particular, this flight stick feels absolutely lovely when you're moving left or right. Big positive with it. So I can use that hat switch, no issues. I do have some sensitivity set up. I may still need to play around with them, just quick sensitivity set up to get myself up and flying. But even though it feels lovely, let's concentrate upon the positives of this. That throttle system being blown around by the wind there. Just going to active pause it. I've got that button as active pause. The throttle system here. Lovely range and lovely resistance. Again, I'm not a fan of throttles on these types of sticks. These kind of uh, built-in throttles. These tiny levers. This one, because of the resistance... I hope you can get an idea of that. Lovely. And the range of it. I don't particularly feel I need to have a hands-on throttle. This little lever does the job just as good. The movement of this with the hole sensors and the electromagnetic sensors or whatever it's using in the arm chip feels absolutely lovely. And it just feels a pleasure to hold and compact to hold in flight buttons everywhere one thing i will talk about this button here in flight simulator you cannot assign that to anything as you can see it acts like a shifter i'm assuming in other flight sims like dcs world and etc if you do that then you can use different functions on this can't seem to get this working in flight simulator it may may, may be worth more investigation by me but if I assign that, so if it's on green, assign that button to something, press it again so it's on red, assigned it, it stays as the same button. And it doesn't seem to assign 
I'll make a difference in Flight Simulator. But that is definitely worth more investigation. Let's just unpause it. My flight's going to go crazy because I've been messing around with buttons. I'm just becoming a fan, huge fan of this flight stick and kind of these halter systems in general after using this. Lovely to use. Get external. Let's pan around. Let me move you up. Oh, one other thing. Let's just active pause it again. There's a button on the front there. I showed you this before. I can't assign that button to anything in flight sim. I don't know what's going on there or whether I have to do something or whether it's something to do with this shift function. I'm not sure, but that button doesn't assign either. I tried all various different things. The rest do. The rest of, the, of them work fine. Not try the eject button yet, but I'm assuming that will be okay too. Rest of the buttons, absolutely no problems, and you've got so many options. I'll tell you what, as you can see, I'm recommending it so far, but let me take you to my conclusion. So conclusion time for this fabulous little flight stick. And fabulous I do mean... Now listen, I got sent this to me for free. I reached out to Contact Simulations, they sent it to me for free with the Mac one as well. It's my opinions, I don't like it, and I've mentioned a couple of misgivings of things that may not work in flight similar later at least. If I don't like it, I'll say so. Now, like I said, I got the laptop, because I'm intending to travel this year. I wanted to take a controller, I couldn't really carry my yoke system with me, at least not at first. So I wanted to take a simple controller, maybe an Xbox controller, a Holtas 1, Holtas 4. This is coming with me, absolutely. It's the next best thing for me to use to using a yoke system. Whatever technology they've got going on there, it just feels fantastic. Feels lovely to use in the hand. Really lovely to use in the hand. So many different options with the buttons. The throttle control, it's only a little lever, but the resistance on that and the way it works in the sim feels brilliant. Oh, and by the way, if you wanted to, let me just try and grab this with my other hand. You can connect that to the Mac 1 yoke uh, throttle system. You can buy these separately for about £50, like I've mentioned, £49.99 is the suggested real retail price. Plug that into there, and if you're using a desktop or you know you have more space, you're not limited on space, that's a fantastic combination. Let's just put it on a desk next to it there and let's hope it doesn't fall off. That's going to be rivaling the more expensive Holtas systems if you use them two in combinations. Honestly, for me, let me just put that down to one side. You don't need to. That lever there looks may can be deceiving. Once you've used it in flight and once you feel it, it's absolutely fantastic to use. I love it using that little throttle lever. So for throttles, and because you have so many buttons at your disposal, like I said, there's possibly ways of getting more. It's I just have to do more investigation with that. So more combinations of the buttons. You don't need anything else, to be honest. If you're not a fan of twist rudders, then that could be a little bit of a complication. You may just have to buy yourself a pair of rudder pedals to go with it. Like I said, there's an adapter on the front for rudder pedals, so that may be a future project with them. It's coming with me. This is absolutely coming with me. Let me just grab the box, I'll put it back in the box. Probably stick that in a carrier bag and just bring this with me. So problem solved with me. If you're limited on space, you don't want a big clunky setup. This is absolutely perfect. It's like the next generation of flight sticks with an integrated little throttle lever that works brilliantly. And so many different buttons at your disposal. Disposal. It's a 100% recommendation from me. And that's just my honest opinion. But listen, let me know your thoughts below.
Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Like I said, I'm going to be doing videos on setting up probably this with the throttle system of setting up more complex Holter systems from scratch, which you have to with these, and it's great fun. And I'll be seeing you very soon.